Okay, here we are. Rayman 2. I'm English. Let's see how this goes. I love this game, it's good. Actually, fuck you. This is a test. It's kind of late, I don't really want to be talking, so I'm just going to test the, uh, the... Yeah. There's a lot of versions of this game that I've played. I've played the N64 version. I've played the version that had the voices on PS1, I think. And uh, yeah, it's a great game. I'm just gonna play it. I'm not gonna try and do anything special. They've taken everything. See, there was like on the N64 version, they had like this pretend language that they spoke, and on the PS1 version, they actually spoke English, which was weird. And then the PC version was like one of the first games I ever played, and I never beat it. I think I got to Razorbeard once, and I just couldn't, I couldn't beat him. Or, or there was like this slide before Razorbeard. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and completely complete this game on here, assuming this recording is working. Nice. Nice pixels. Looks great. Everything else looks quite good, actually. Quite high rares. Now, some versions have the prison counter going up. Does this one? Yeah, this one does. This used to be super scary. Now, is this the one with the... I used to be like, a, like, really wanted to be a pirate like this. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but it's such a cool design. You see, in the PS1 version, those, the help and the, uh, that was all narrated English or whatever language it was that you were listening, and it just didn't look right. This one is sort of like. Made up. Or maybe it's actually a language, and I'm just being a racist. Poor Rayman. I should play Rayman 1. I've never completed that. That's really hard. Yeah. Rayman's the best. Fuck the rabbits. Rayman 2, Rayman 3. Rayman M. Okay, let's figure out these controls. Uh, that's very weird. A is jump. D is nothing. S and W is turn around. So I guess it's arrow keys. Okay. Space to do this. What else is there? Let's do it. Now, for those of you who have, who have not played Rayman 2, The Great Escape, uh, you can get it off of GOG for like uh, a number of uh, value. It's quite cheap, I guess. I bought it. This is, this is the version I'm playing, the GOG version, which is basically just the PC version. I recommend GOG for old games like this. Because it's, it's unlike Steam, you can play them even if your internet isn't working. 
can just download the file and have it. Okay. Oh yeah, Murphy. He whispers weird. Magic stone which can read our thoughts. You need some help? Pass close to stone. I don't need help, sir. Thank you, dude. I'm cool at this game. I can hear a crowd. I haven't played this version in a while. I can hear a cage. Where is it? Maybe it's around the corner. Oh, it's ahead. That's fine. So yeah, I'm going to try and complete this entire game. I might edit it because I'm not the great at being a person. Or am I? No, I'm, I'm, I'm the best. Fuck you. I'm the best at playing games and speaking about games. Remember that guy? Yeah. I'm trying to think of things to say. I guess it's easier as a as a um a let's play channel when you have two people want to bounce ideas off of just to say things and then have them react. I mean what else can I talk about aside from what I'm playing right now? Not much really. This is awful. This is awful and you should feel ashamed that you've spent this much time so far looking at it. Oh, I remember this jump being so annoying. On the N64. I never owned an, N uh, an N64. I used to play this game at a youth club. They just had an N64 there with this and Diddy Kong Racing and I think that was it. Okay, I guess I suck. This is a better one. Yeah. No. Poor babies. Really like that sound effect. They say me in this. I never did complete Rayman 1, so I don't know whether Lee is supposed to be the same as Batilla the fairy. Because Batilla was the one in the, in the first game who gave Rayman his powers of hanging onto the ledges and, and all that. Oh, I got all the lungs. Yeah, Batilla the fairy was the one who gave him all his powers. And in this game, it's Lee the Fairy. I don't know whether Glowbox appears in the first game either. I suppose I could look it up, but why would I? I used to think this was the funniest shit. Stop. I can still appreciate it. His hands are really white. Should I skip over these cutscenes? Or like... I mean, I don't know. Have you seen this game before? Have you not? 
Would you like to know the story? Because I don't know what to say during a cutscene. That wouldn't be intru obtrusive. It certainly is a great adventure. And this effect... I love all the animations in this game. They're just so satisfyingly mystical and adventurous. Like all that, the little particle effects that go woo woo woo. You know? I sure do.